here's the bunny Kay. Yeah. He's left us some baskets here. Yeah. And there is literally, what's all over the floor? Eggs. Eggs. Everywhere. Everywhere. Should we go wake up Isla and Esme? Um, I would need to come with me too, because I'm scared I'm going to see the big eggs. There might be lots of eggs up there too. We're looking for a golden one, aren't we? Okay. I'm going to need to come with me, because there might be a, some eggs up there too. Okay. Come on, Esme. You're coming in the rooms. Okay, come on then. You knew Isabel, I'll, I'll Isabel. Isabel's downstairs already. I don't know why I'm saying that. <laughs> Pop them here and then go collect all the little ones. This one's first. Ooh. Good boy. Me oh my little gosh, little. Mila's so sweet. Oh, good idea, Dad. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. Collect them all up and then we can Put take them in the house. Up. It's so hot out here. You best get collected them quickly. I'm on the way. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is there any smartest ones anywhere? Smartest. Smartest ones. Oh. <laughs> Mila want one. Mila going to come, come with Mama. Look. Come on, Mila. No, 
No, go with Mama. Look, go with Mama. She's okay. She wants to. Come on, let's go find a big one. Okay. <laughs> Trampoline. Yeah. Anyway, because we get more chocolate. And yep. I can eat it all tomorrow on my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Mila, what have you got? You've got an Easter egg. <gasps> What's that? Oh, you alright, Jace? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, look. What? I have oh so my many. god. This is my chocolate. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> nice one, Esme. You've got blooming loads. Yeah. The only way to have your cereal on Easter or at Easter. Woo, yeah. Okay, are you ready for this? <laughs> Here you go. Eat it all up. Tell me all this. Is it good? I've got mine, Jace. Look. Yummy. Oh. <laughs> Jace, the whole point is so that you get to eat the chocolate egg, <laughs> not eat the cereal and leave the rest. <laughs> so, after a lovely morning, I've just popped up to the supermarket with Jane. You're holding them for me. <laughs> I'll grab them when I've done. Um, we're going to pick up. Special breakfast for Isla's birthday tomorrow. She loves pancakes and fruit, so we're gonna get that. And then we're gonna pick up a cake. I need to get some wrapping paper. There's a few things on the list. It's busy, so busy. Okay, we've got wrapping paper. We've got a cake, we went for this one, which is a rainbow one, I think she'll love it. Pancakes, fruit, um, bin bags and some other little bits. And then I also got these. She asked for some hair chalks. And it's one thing that I didn't get, so these were seven pounds, so we got those. Also, they've got so many packs of these pencils for 12p. <gasps> so I thought I'd stock up on a few packs of those. Oh, I got four of those, Jane. I meant to get three. Oh, well. Um, a little notebook that was seven, uh, 70p with this, a little diary. And then an outfit in the bottom. I'll show you that when I get home. Who is it? Who is it, Mila? You put a headband. I don't think Prinny wants a headband. Mila, wear it. Mila, put it on. Jesus! You alright there, babe? Why have you turned the lights off again? I don't like it. Chris likes it in the dark. I hate it. Put the lights on. Mila, have you been a big girl? I love you. Been good? Yeah, I'm so excited because it's my last day of the is it? How come it's your last day of being 10? Because it's 11 tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. It's not your birthday tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. You're not 11, surely you're 8. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, 11. Yeah. A fun fact, this time 11 years ago, it was Easter Sunday. We'd just been for a walk in the woods looking for Easter eggs. And I was about to say I went into labour, but I didn't. You were a little, n no, you were a little monster and you stopped moving. Do you remember? So we went back home, I drank a can of coke and laid on the bed and you didn't move for a good couple of hours. Did I so we went you up? Yep, big time. <laughs> so we went to the hospital and they monitored you. Was it a heart rate were a bit slow? Yeah. Your heart rate was a tiny bit slow, so they decided because I was already four days overdue, they was going to induce me. No, you, no, you sent me home first. They induced you then, you sent me home. I went back home. Grandpa was at the house. Yeah, but you went, yeah, but you only went home because they inserted to the pessary and said that they said that I wasn't they said I wasn't favourable and that my yeah. cervix were too far back and they'd probably have to reinsert. Yeah, they said I'd, they'd re have to insert the pessary after in the morning. I never knew that. Yeah, so they said we'll probably have to do it again in the morning. So try and get yourself some rest. She closed the curtain. My water's broke, and you were born two hours later. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and she did not believe that I was in labour. I said my water just broke. She's like, um, maybe you've just peed yourself. <laughs> I'm like, no. She did, she did, didn't she? And she's like, well, put something on and then show me it in half an hour. And I'm like, um, mate, she's going to be born. She's going to be born. I could tell it was a quick labour. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. I never knew that. <laughs> you never know. I'm pretty sure I've talked. Oh, careful, Mila. <laughs> Take her eye out. So it's a little bit crazy. People wise here, we've got some very, very good friends of mine over for dinner. Uh, and my mum and dad, Coco. And it's actually a ball here tonight. But I wanted to come outside and, and show you guys something that we had done today. We had some, en some en electrical engineers here today to finish something on the house that uh, I've wanted to finish for a little while now. Oh, it looks so good. So this house has got really, really good lighting all around the back. It's got, you know, external lighting everywhere down the side of the house. So at night time, it's all lit up really nicely. One thing that it was missing was these external up lighting. So we had today, we had some uh, engineers come and do these outside the front of the door. And then we've got one on each end of the house as well. And then on this side too, 
and they just look awesome. I can't wait for it to get dark now. So they turn on, they turn on automatically. They've got like light sensors in them, so they turn on when it gets dark. So I'm really looking forward to it getting dark now and them all turning on. But this arriving makes me very excited indeed because we're going to take the caravan away day after Ida's birthday. And I really wanted to take the bikes with us this time, so I'm going to be able to now that my bike racks arrive. So yeah. Oh, uh, it's just got dark and they've just come on. Absolutely in love. They look so good. Actually, they actually finish off the door perfectly. Love them. And this one's working down here. You can't see it obviously because of the van, but yay! They all look so good. We just need to create a little bit of space now in the driveway because it's looking pretty packed at the minute, but there's still lots of space obviously out the front here. And there's absolutely tons of space down the side and then round the back. So we're just gonna move everything down. So it's gonna move things down a little bit and the caravan will probably come down here. And then the RV will go here where the caravan is basically to free up all this area again. The guys that came to do these were absolutely amazing today. They're just a lovely small business that doesn't have much social media or anything. So it's really important to support small business where you can. So I'm gonna link these guys down below. They were absolutely fantastic. Really, really good guys. And they've done such a good job. So, so happy with that. Someone's had a busy day. An only day. What? You said. Sweetheart, what's wrong? Shut the door. <laughs> no, nope, definitely wasn't shut the door. She's looking at me as if to say what? Shut the door. Oh, do you need? Well, I think she's very well tonight. What, sweetheart? Shut the door. No, 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 she said shark. Shark did her. How does Jason know what she's saying? I don't know. Yes, she is saying shark do do do. Yes, you want to watch baby shark do 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 do. Is that what you want? That's right. Do you know what? What, darling? Do you know what's wrong with her? I think she's got hay fever. Yeah, I think so too. I remember last year when she went outside and um, we thought she had hay fever. I remember we were trying to get some Pyriton, but I think it's because she was under one. That was in France, wasn't it? Was it? I can't quite remember. Yeah, it was when she'd been playing in the grass. And today is the first day she's really played in the grass when we were looking for the Easter eggs and things. And since we came in, she's had a runny nose, runny eye. Oh, I'm not going to film this. She looks too, she looks too sad. Oh my goodness, this lighting in here is terrible. But um, yeah, I didn't want to film Millie before because she's just really upset. So Chris is taking her downstairs, giving her some love and some medicine. Hopefully she'll be feeling okay soon and um, we can get her down to bed. I'm just sorting out Isla's birthday presents. And it uh, sounds crazy, I'm just actually deciding what to give her for her birthday because I basically bought, I basically buy things when I see them on sale, when I know it's something that one of the children will absolutely love. And then when it comes to birthdays, Christmas, etc., etc., I'll get them out and then I'll decide what to give. And what I don't give, I'll give to another child if they have like the same interests. Or I'll say for Christmas or another special occasion. Um, I always end up on their birthdays and, and Christmas and things with more than what they need, basically. Um, they don't need anything. I know lots of people be saying you always go over the top on birthdays and Christmas and things, which we do. I understand that, but um, I'm not giving Isla everything I've got out, out here. Like it's actually ridiculous. Um, the main things are the kit. Oh, I do just want to say as well, just before I start this, I know that lots of the. I'm not going to show everything. I'm just going to show a couple of bits, but I know lots of things that I'm about to show here. Some of you will. Um, not agree with I guess <laughs> for like an 11 year old or a child that's turning 11 um, and that's absolutely fine I don't expect everyone to agree with everything that we do in life it's totally totally fine but I do just want to say that not every not every 11 year old is the same and that's what's amazing and unique about us humans is that no one's exactly the same just the same as no 28 year olds the same as another 28 year old and people have different interests and different likes and different wants and different hobbies and blah 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 so we often get messages and comments and things on birthday vlogs like why would you buy an 11 year old that that's just ridiculous I buy my children what they are interested in, not what society says they should be interested in. So, for example, at 11, I would never have bought Isabel most of what Isla's got because she had no interest in these things. It's not that I'm trying to keep her a certain age or anything like that. It's just that Isla is genuinely interested and enjoys 
these things. Isabel would have hated these things at 11. Um, so, all I was going to say is, whilst people might have opinions on things and definitely not buy this for their child, I wouldn't have bought this for some of my children as well. Um, but just, you know, just, just to be kind and try and be understanding that not every child is exactly the same. Um, mainly towards the dolls and the kinder kids, which Isla collects and she's collected for quite a while now. She's got loads in her bedroom and these are on sale in Smith's Toys. They're probably still on sale actually because I only got them a couple of days ago. Um, and they were on sale for £9.99 so I collected four of them and then Chris said I found these in your box that I've got like my box of gifts do you want them for Isla for her birthday and it's like a medical set I don't actually think I'm gonna give them to Isla I said yeah but I don't actually think I am going to give her them because I, whilst she I don't think she'd play as much I can't is that I'll show you but these are the four um dolls kindy kids that I got in the Smith's Toys sale. These were all £9.99 and I'm pretty sure she doesn't have any of these with the like. I'm really actually quite disappointed because it's just a sticker on the forehead and I didn't realise that and half the stickers are like creased. Uh, they're still really cute. I'm just going to go and check in her room now actually and make sure she doesn't have these ones. And that would be a no. These are all the ones that she's had and collected from me and Chris and family over Christmases and birthdays, but none of them have that pattern on their heads. So I'll probably give two of these. I think four is just too much. Um, and I'm going to save two for another birthday or maybe me life. I, I, um, Isla stops collecting them before the next occasion to give her them, but I doubt it because she does absolutely love these dolls. She loves playing with Mila with them and she likes to collect them. So they'll probably be useful like Christmas or... I don't know, another special occasion throughout the year. I'll probably give her two of those. And then this is a set that I got, um, I got this about six months ago, uh, way before Christmas. It was supposed to be a Christmas gift and I decided not to give it to her for Christmas because she already had a lot. So this went away in the birthday and Christmas box, but I'm not sure if to save this one for Mila more just because it's a, a kind of a plasticky play set and I'm not too sure if, I mean, I'm sure I would love it. Does it do? I'm not sure. I don't know if Isla will. Oh my gosh, it goes on for ages. I'm not sure. Oh my gosh. Oh my eye shake and shiver. That started vibrating. I think I'm going to save this one. I'll decide at the end, but I think I'm actually might save this one for Mila for Christmas. Two other dolls that she collects. That looks terrifying with a bag over her face like that. I'm not too sure why. That's a good idea. That just looks really silly. Um, anyway, this one, and also this one, <laughs> they actually, Chase come in, he's like, those dolls are terrifying, <laughs> I think they're absolutely adorable, these are from Mary Shorter, and I bought these about a year and a half ago, and I gave her two for Christmas, I believe it was, last year, I didn't give her any for this Christmas, sorry guys, I got the driest throat, we've been talking all night because we had friends around as well, but I didn't give her any for Christmas, so I thought I would give her these two, they are absolutely adorable, um, little dolls though, and Isla really likes them. So when Isla was talking about her birthday and things that she'd like, she kind of did up a wish list, I guess, and these next few bits that I'm about to show you were all from her Amazon wish list. These little design your own water bottles. She has been asking for some of these for quite some time now. I also like how this is like a double pack and I know that she'll have fun not just decorating these but they'll also get used a lot as well because they do like they do like a water bottle do my girls. These random these are actually not great quality. These were from Amazon but um, I opened them a few minutes ago. Notice that that one's like deflated. I don't know, they're just, they're not the best of quality, but Esme saw them and she's like, oh my gosh, Isla's gonna love those. And I guess that's all that matters. So, 12 piece stress balls. This glitter, I've got no idea what's going on here. <laughs> glitter, I was like, are you sure you want this? It might not be great. She's like, yeah, I really wanted to try it out. So, this glitter tattoo art kit, um, which, yeah, I'm sure she's gonna have lots of fun with tomorrow. This cute little multi-pack of transparent jelly lipstick. Um, it's, it's basically like a lip balm, moisture lip type thing. She's been after some of these for quite some time now. I got some on a flight. Can't remember where we were going, but um, 
yeah, she's been after some for ages. So I think she'll really like these. Liquid glitter bracelets. Make your own. Isla loves everything like arty and crafty and things that she can make and keep. I was actually quite surprised to see these on her list. But I used to have some of these when I was younger and it brought back a lot of memories. I've literally got the tickliest throat tonight. And every two minutes I'm having to stop the camera to like clear my throat or like get rid of the tickle it's so frustrating but um yeah these brought back a lot of memories me and my friend used to at the caravan that we used to go to in Withensee so we only ever used to see each other during the holidays or on weekends um she'd sometimes go to her caravan <coughs> and I'd go to mine and we used to collect these from the arcades and give each other so I'd collect them for her and she'd collect them from me for me and we used to um wear them whenever we went it was like our friendship thing so it brought back a lot of memories so I'm quite looking forward to doing those with Isla. Some cute little sandals. She loves her clothes and her shoes and things does Isla. So I thought these were really sweet and would be perfect for summertime. A cute swimming costume. This is adorable. She really needs some new swimwear as well. So I thought this would be really pretty. Two pairs of denim shorts. I thought these were really nice. Isla loves denim shorts. Um, I think she'll absolutely love the ice cream ones. They're, she loves like funky patterns and things. But I thought they were both really pretty. I also ended up buying her a stupid amount of pyjamas. So Isla's obsessed with pyjamas. She's just like me. She loves nothing more than a fresh, nice pair of PJs. So I got her those ones. I think they're long sleeved ones i'm not going to open the packaging but i'm pretty sure they're long sleeved and long legged these ones which are so blooming pretty i've got age 12 i've never had pajamas from next before in this like um in this in, a, in like cotton material so i'm not sure what the sizing is going to be like but i hope they fit hopefully they will um i got those ones i got this nighty she just loves everything like this really girly pretty florally so she's, she's definitely going to like this nighty. And then finally, these are also from Next. This three pack of pyjamas. These were really expensive. So I got these in the sale. And I think I paid like £22 or something like that. But they should have been £44 for three pairs of pyjamas from Next. I couldn't believe it. I, I still think £22 is expensive to be fair. But um... Yeah, pyjamas seem to have shot up in price recently, so I thought I'd get some nice ones anyway, and these ones were also from Next. Kind of hard to show this, but this is the outfit that I bought her today from Asda, and I said I'd show you guys later. So it's like this bright orange top, so pretty. And then these denim jeans, which are like wide-legged at the bottom, like kind of 70s vibe jeans. They're really, really nice, and she's going to love, like I said, she loves patterny things, so she's going to really like this. And I also got her these, she got two of these Verba Day dresses, they're kind of like little, they're just little dresses and they come with like a matching cardigan and she got two I think for Christmas and she just loved them so much. So when I went on the sales in January and saw these two, I think they were like £10 each, they were a really good price considering you get like the cardigan and the dress. Um, she, I thought I'd, I thought I'd pick them up for her as well, I know she'll really like these two. I think I pretty much just showed you everything. Aside from like three things, which isn't bad considering I wasn't showing you anything. Apologise for my throat during that. No idea what's going on in my throat tonight. It's dry as anything. We got a Chinese tonight and we had friends around. We had Chris's mum and dad around again, obviously. And I just, yeah, just, just got a dry throat, I think, from talking so much. But I think we're going to end the vlog here. Tomorrow, um, it's Isla's birthday. I can't believe she's going to be 11. It seems like too many. In fact, lots of you guys always say like she was like younger than Jace when we first started YouTube. So she's literally grown up. I can't believe how much she's grown up. It's crazy. I and mean, it's crazy to think like this time 11 years ago and like her birth story and things. <clears throat> Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to end the vlog now before my voice does actually disappear. And we'll see you all back here tomorrow for Isla's birthday special at 5pm. Good night, guys! Mm -hmm.